And welcome to tomorrow, and for anybody watching this as its own video, welcome to my top 10 favorite Pokemon. In case you missed it, uh, there is a two hour video, either split into two parts or one gigantic video going over my top 100 favorite Pokemon of all time. This is just the top 10, which I figured is what most people want to see. So to save you all some of the trouble, I decided to put into its own part, just like I did with my top 10 least favorite Pokemon after that tier list. Anyway, number 10 in my top 10 favorite Pokemon is Wiglet. And the reason I love Wiglet so much is because of my love for, my love for Diglett combined with my love for, well, maybe it's not best to say that on the internet. But you know exactly what I'm talking about. The day they decided to make Wiglet the Diglett regional variant that they've already done before into a cock, a white cock, I know it's a garden eel, I don't care, is the funniest thing they could have possibly done. And I absolutely adore it. Not to mention the fact that they put it in its own trailer. When that trailer released, I lost my mind. It was like Poltegeist on steroids because of how funny Wiglet was. There was all the memes going around of Wiglet and help guys, we breached the sperm wall and it's just Wiglet because Wiglet is inherently funny. He's a funny little worm guy. Even if you take all the cock, diglet, all that stuff out of it, it is just a funny little worm. And how could you go wrong with that? Not to mention, they gave it an awesome name, Wiglet. Like, Diglett is already an awesome name, but you put a W and it instantly just makes it ten times better. Anyways, uh, my number nine favorite is Blaziken. Um, the reason this one's here is because it is the final Evolve stage of my, fav my first, not my favorite, my first ever Pokemon. Because if you didn't know, and if you watched the top 100 video, you definitely know... That Omega Ruby was, in fact, my favorite game. So, the final evolved Pokemon that was the first ever Pokemon starter I ever had, being Torchic, means that I absolutely adore him. And this is coming from somebody who doesn't like fire starters all that much. In most cases, they are the um, my last pick out of Grass, Fire, Water. That's the case it's been in the last couple generations. And also the first couple generations, so there's some heat drop, I guess, for you. Pun absolutely intended. Um, but yeah, aside from the fact that it was my first mod of all time, and the fact that I used it on my first game of all time, I just think it has a really cool chicken kickbox design, because chickens, uh, more specifically hens, are very, very vicious in real life. Uh, that There's a reason they have a thing called cockfighting, uh, it's because cocks are inherently vicious. Don't clip that out of context, please. Uh, but yeah, the fact that they made this just kickboxing, kicks, kickboxing badass chicken starter is another reason, on top of the many reasons, why I love Blaziken. Number eight is Hisuian Decidueye. What an awesome redesign. So in case you didn't see the top 100, I'll give you a little spoiler. Decidueye was my number 11 pick. Hisuian Decidueye both knocks Decidueye out of my top 10 and is better in every way. This design is perfect. It is everything I could have ever wanted out of a Hisuian Rowlet evolution. And just thinking about... Legends Arceus and using it in game and how cool it is genuinely brings me joy because yes my little owl boy got in awesome form and it's just the red autumn colors the the Japan hat on top of him that's shaped like a leaf the fact that he looks mean and vicious it looks like Hisuian Decidueye was out for blood and also feral which fits Legends Arceus a lot more than I would like to think. Um, and it just, it's like a fusion of both Blaziken and Decidueye. It's perfect. It's awesome. Grass fighting, not being the best typing is okay, especially in Scarlet and Violet now that we have Terrestrializing. It doesn't matter that its type is worse than the original. Its design is a billion times better. 
And it's just so cool. Not to mention that I've used it in my Legends Arceus playthrough, which I've easily put over 100 hours into trying to complete that perfect Pokedex, which I still haven't done, by the way. So the fact that he's there the whole time, my main man on my team, Albert, shout out if you get the reference, um, makes me like him even more than I already do. Anyways, number seven is Vileplume. Vileplume is just this funny little cute plant monster that's from Gen 1. And I hate to be the person that's like, oh, because it's Gen 1, it's one of my favorite Pokemon. But it genuinely is. This was the first grass type. And if you haven't seen my top 100 Pokemon, there is a lot of fully evolved grass Pokemon on that list. So the fact that this is the, the first ever not starter grass fully evolved Pokemon in the Pokedex, aside from Paris, makes it really stand out in my opinion because this was the OG guy. And on top of that... I just think the design is really cool. I like the whole red flower design because it's actually a real flower in the real world. Um, it's in like certain jungles and it's very carnivorous. I think it like eats flesh or something ridiculous like that. I'm not sure if that's 100% correct, but don't fact check me on that. Um, but the fact that they made such a carnivorous looking plant so friendly and just so joyful and happy makes the design even better. As well as the fact that I've used it Many, many times uh, in the past. A lot of spin-off games, a lot of games like Pixelmon and all that stuff. As well as, uh, most notably, in my um, Alpha Sapphire playthrough, I used one called Ross. And I believe he was the first one to get to level 100 in that game. Even before my Swamper did, which was pretty impressive. So yeah, he's just my silly little plant guy from Gen 1. Uh, number 6 is Meganium. Meganium is such an interesting Pokemon to me. Because I love it, but I think I might be one of the only people that loves it. Yeah, it's a grass starter and a starter, so it's going to get a baseline level of love. But when you compare it to the love that Typhlosion and Feraligator get, it's completely light and day compared to who gets the most love. Because Meganium, when compared to the other Gen 2 starters, hell, all starters, is probably most people's least favorite. Which is absolutely appalling to me because it is my favorite fully evolved starter. And I just think it has such a simple and perfect design. It is a green brontosaurus with a beautiful flower on its neck. That's like the epitome of a perfect grass starter. Yes, we've had cooler ones, Hisuian Decidueye especially. But this is like classic. This is OG grass starter. And I think that that just makes it perfect. And the fact that it's weak in battle and it's the worst starter of all time if you put them all against each other doesn't matter to me. I just love the look of this beautiful flower monster. And it actually does kick ass if you use it correctly. In my uh, Soul Silver playthrough, I used Bean the Meganium. And you know what? It kicked ass. So all of you who are like, oh, don't use Meganium, it sucks. I say no. I love Meganium. And I'm going to use it every time over the other two, because in my opinion, the other two are far, far worse Pokemon. But that's a rant for another day. Number five is Metagross. Metagross is so fucking cool. It is like the Terminator and the Transformer of the Pokemon world. The Terminator! That's like inherently cool. Name one person that doesn't think the Terminator is fucking cool. And name one person that doesn't think Metagross is cool. Exactly. Hardest challenge ever. Not to mention it's a spider. A Pokemon, or sorry, an animal known for instilling fear into other people and shooting venom and whatever. Combined with the Terminator and a giant hunkin' supercomputer. And it's a pseudo-legendary with absurd stats. Hello, if that's not the coolest thing I've ever heard, I don't know what the hell is. And if we're just talking on design alone, it's so cool. The whole X across its face, the giant stomping Beldum hands that all form one supercomputer. The fact that this thing can fly, it can pick up its arms and fly like a spaceship. That's so awesome. And not to mention, 
It's pseudo legendary. That's already a baseline of coolness on top of everything Metagross has to offer. And I figured it is important to know I have used a Metagross before in my Ultra Moon playthrough. I actually caught it with a heal ball. And which was surprising because, you know, it was probably, and I say probably because I don't remember specifically what happened, one of the situations where I was like, well, I might as well just throw a heal ball and see what happens. And then I caught it. And then I used it for the rest of the game, and it was awesome. And that was a cool memory with Metagross, to add on top of the Metagross Sunday, you could say. Number four is Diglett. Not Wiglet, not Alolan Diglett, just Diglett. And what is there to say about Diglett that already hasn't been said before? I love him. He's just a little mole man. He's so cute. He's a nostalgic from Gen 1. And it's just something... Something about the design that speaks to me. And you're going to notice that um, all four of my top four Pokemon aren't very serious. The only one that was here, and even my top five that I thought was here because of coolness alone, was Metagross. Everything from here on out is for silly, goofy, whatever you want to call it reasons. And Diglett is no exception. This is the original joke Pokemon. Like, everybody's like, oh... This is the strongest Pokemon ever. It actually has a giant buff body underneath it. It's just this dumb mole that is universally accepted as funny. And I I love it. It's so goofy. It's so simple and cute. I love it, you know? It's not the most complicated design in the world, obviously. It might actually be one of the simplest designs. But that only makes me like it more because, you know, it's not like a supercomputer Terminator spider or anything. It's just Diglett. It's just this little cute, simple little guy. And I, I love the Goofy Mole. I have to be honest. Uh, number three is Alolan Dugtrio. And hold your pitchforks. Because A, this is you universally agreed to be a bad Pokemon outside of a few Owen Wilson jokes. And B, because I put it above OG Diglett. So let me explain. Uh, to all those Owen Wilson people who are like, oh, it sucks. First of all, strong, strongly disagree. Second of all, for those of you who are like, why is it above Diglett? Um, I like Diglett's design more, obviously. But Sun and Moon specifically was my favorite Pokemon game. And it is the Pokemon game I have the most nostalgia for. So when you give me this silly Owen Wilson-like with the long, flowing, luscious, blonde hair, which is incredible, by the way. Never would have thought of that in a million years. And you give me this goofy Doug trio from a tropical island, I fall in love. Obviously, I used it on my son team. Obviously, it was my first level 100. Obviously, Diggy, the Alolan Duck Trio, has a very special place in my heart that even Diglett can't reach. And obviously, I just think it's a funny guy. If we take all of my nostalgia out of the way, I look at this guy and I get a smile because of how stupid this is. I can show this to somebody who's never seen Pokemon before and it will get a smile out of them, especially if they know what Duck Trio is. Just because of how out there it is. And that's why I love it. Not to mention the blonde wigs alone raise it up like 10 points. Because the blonde wigs give it so much character, so much personality. Each little mole of Diglett having a different hairstyle gives them a completely different personality. Which is awesome. The more personality, the better. And then there's also another nostalgic reason I just thought of. Alright, so... We're going to go back to 2017 when Mario Maker for Nintendo 3DS, yes, 3DS, not Wii U, uh, so the shitty port basically on the DS, uh, I was playing with my friend, my best friend at the time, and I made a level called Diggy the Doug Trio, and in that level, at the very end, you had to climb over an Alolan Doug Trio made of, uh, like, bricks and those falling tiles. And that is a uh, memory that I hold in very well regard because it was my favorite level for a long time. And it also just made me love 
Alolan Doug Trio even more than I already did, which is a fun little thing. Anyways, number two is Rallet. Um, Rallet is universally agreed to be the best grass starter. And while I would love to be, oh no, I love Meganium more. Oh, oh no, I love Hisui Decidui more. No, I too give the cake to Rallet because it is just a perfect design in every aspect. This little goofy owl is everything I've ever wanted in a Pokemon, ever. It's so perfect. It's just... amazing. The fact that it's a grass-type starter, that isn't just a plant, or an animal with a plant on it. It's an owl with a grass bow tie, sure, but it's just an owl at the end of the day, and even the color scheme is not really what you'd expect from a grass-type. You'd expect some shade of green, or if you're Bulbasaur, some shade of blue. Not really a shade of light brown and white. It is a very interesting, like, barn owl color scheme that I think works very well in its favor. Not to mention, uh, all the times I've used it, all the times I've played through Sun and used it on my team, including the original time, including Legends Arceus with uh, Albert, and um, obviously Ash had one in the anime, which was the best part of all, like, ten episodes of the Sun and Moon anime I actually watched. That Stalin one still gets me to this day. I will shed a tear every time I watch that. Besides the point, carried by my Gen 7 nostalgia and his very, very cute little face and bow tie. Rowlet is my number two favorite Pokemon. And if you don't know what my favorite Pokemon of all time is, where the hell have you been? There's no way... You just watch through either a two-hour video or a 20-minute video without realizing that the number one Pokemon of all time is Squirtle. That's right, the basic, the most basic answer in the whole world for who's your favorite Pokemon. And I wish it, I could say Rallid or Metagross or Hisui and Decidueye, but I can't. It's Squirtle. It's simple, really. It's a Gen 1 starter. Everybody loves at least one Gen 1 starter. I can see a Squirtle on my desk right now. That's a little Tomy figure. Like, it's Squirtle. What do you want me to say? It's an incredibly cute design with the overall just tininess and the turtleness. Two very cute things in nature. Like, if you give me a tiny tor turtle in my hand, I'm just already going to fall in love, make it a nice shade of blue, and I'm already sold. Obviously, Ash had one in the anime, um, and that was my favorite of the original series that he had. Um, obviously, oh my god, the games. Every time, there's a Gen 1 starter option. Unless I specifically want to change it up, which is very rare, I will pick Squirtle. Because for me, it's no competition. Neither Gen 1 starter, or even any starter on this list, Squirtle and Meganium... Meganium being my 6th favorite Pokemon of all time, are in leagues of their own. Squirtle is in a league of its own. It is above every other Pokemon, no matter what. It's just always going to be my favorite. And that's never going to change. No matter if they make, like, a Wiglet and Alolan Doug Trio fusion, and call it, like, Wiggy Wug Trio or whatever, it still won't be my- Okay, it might be my second favorite, but it's not going to top Squirtle. Because Squirtle, to me, is so special. I have so much nostalgia for Squirtle. And I love the design. And when I think of Pokemon, I think of Squirtle. And that's simple enough. And I think we're going to wrap it down right there. Alright, guys. Uh, if you watched the original video, you would know that this is a different outro. Because the first one didn't really work. So we just came off of Squirtle. And from here on to the end of this top 10 video, the commentary is going to be a little different because for all intents and purposes, this is the last video ever in my ranking every Pokemon ever video or a series, whatever, because this is the last thing I needed to do. I needed to film that big 100 top 100 Pokemon ever and then chop this little piece off and then put it its own video. 
So I'm just taking this as really another opportunity to say thank you for watching my channel, thank you for watching this series, whatever. You don't need to hear that whole spiel I gave in the last time. If you really want to, just go watch the other video, which most of you have already done. So thank you for the support on that. Thank you for the support on my channel. Um, yeah, this is my top 10 favorite Pokemon. Hope you enjoyed. I want you all to take care of yourselves because mental health is important. And I will see you all next time. We're going to keep it pretty brief here. So, yeah. Bye-bye.